Welcome back, everybody. Well, you can't have enough love in your life. And the same thing goes for Carson Love. Oh, I love yes. it. I love it. She was here a couple months ago. We had to have her back and enlist her help again because she's amazing. She really is. Carson, <laughs> this time of year, yes. many of us are going through our closets, figuring out what we're going to toss yes. or try again. Yes. How do you help your clients with this? Yes. January seems to be a huge theme. You know, people are going through different rooms in their house, rejuvenating, refreshing. Of course, spring is right around the corner. Um, whenever I first start working with a client, no matter where they're starting from, even if they're telling me, oh my gosh, I have a closet full of clothes I don't know what to do with, or they have like two t-shirts. Mm. No matter what, we always start in the same place, and that's by taking a look at what they already own. And of course, this can be productive for a few reasons. One, we want to clear out any clutter that isn't serving them. Mm. Um, but two, I would never suggest that someone go out and spend money on something without first taking really good stock in what they already have, mm. if that makes sense. So it gives us a chance to kind of, you know, figure out what's working for them, what's not working for them, and compile a really good intentional shopping list mm. so we're not making any of those impulse swipe up purchases <laughs> that oh, we've we're, never we're, done that yeah i wonder what that's like no i'm i'm, I'm guilty of it too for sure it happens okay so here's the hardest part uh -huh. going through someone's closet mm. and actually saying it's time to toss this yes. how do you know when something is toss time to yeah <laughs> tossable get tossable. Ed ed editable toss. yeah. it's time yeah. is up it's time has expired yeah well i always say you know if it's taking up valuable real estate in your closet i want it to be versatile for you and what that looks like is different for everybody mm -hmm. you know what's versatile for someone that um like y'all who are on camera every day you know and then what's versatile for someone that maybe i don't know is like a personal trainer a gym like those are two different cool wardrobes right um so i would be wary of any like articles or you know lists or posts you see that say these are the staples that everyone needs because i really believe what everyone needs is so different Absolutely. and, and yeah. unique to them so you know something really important that i always ask my clients is does it fit you and mm -hmm. people get hung up on size there you know does it fit my body mm -hmm. but really what i'm looking at is does it fit your lifestyle mm -hmm. does it fit your current demands mm -hmm. does it fit your personal taste now because of course mm -hmm. that changes no matter what chapter we're in so, so there's true. a lot that goes into it uh, and I love that you say does it fit to yes. you because that's a question that I was wondering yeah so I am guilty of being that person that's like well mm -hmm. it's a little tight now sure. but when I lose those five pounds so <laughs> it'll common. fit perfectly so I keep it yeah and then it takes up space what totally totally common so like first of all no you're not alone every everyone does it yeah. um especially this time of year I think we can really be tough on ourselves <laughs> yes. in that way. I mean, women especially, but everybody. Um, what I would really want to drive home for people is um, dressing for your body right now is not complacency. If you have a health journey that you're on, if you have goals you're trying to reach, mm. you're still going to get those but there's no reason why you shouldn't dress for your body right now. If anything, it'll just make you feel better and encourage you to keep striving on and keep pushing on to reach those goals. Okay. So don't confuse it with complacency. So you can keep it for the time being. If, if, if you're in, I, you know, I always say, because well, we people get, we fluctuate people with get, People get nitty, down to the nitty gritty, and I say, if you're really struggling, like, do I keep doing not? With massy manufactured clothing these days, really, if you're in within 10 pounds of it, it's okay to keep. Because, okay. like you say, I mean, you could be one size and one pair of jeans, and then go to the next brand, and it's a totally different size. So okay. I, I say a good 10 pound range. Okay. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. I am uh, an emotional hoarder when it comes oh, to my clothing yes, items. Yes, it but happens. out with the old, in with the new, we brought some of our items yeah. from our closet yes. let's edit this okay and this is like i did not we did not talk about this prior no this is a true blind <laughs> my edit. true opinion mm -hmm. in the moment here yeah. so whose blazer is this we'll just Mine. start from the top okay it is um, tell me about this blazer. When I'm, did you get it? Do you even remember? I don't even remember when I got it. I do you remember the last time you wore it? No. Do you remember if you if it fits you? I it, could make it try try it on. It's but. kind of like a bigger yes. like baggier one. So I see a lot of these kind of like old tired blazers hanging in clients' closet. And a big theme I've started to notice is I think a lot of people have these pieces from when they were in the office. Mm -hmm. And now they're working from home. They're like, do I need all these blazers? Do I need all these work staples? Um, with something like this, assuming that it still fits well and that mm -hmm. you still like it style-wise, mm -hmm. um, I would say to try again and just mm -hmm. style it in a different way. So 
don't need to toss it out, but maybe instead of pairing it with like, you know, the old work slacks or the mm -hmm. pencil skirt that maybe you once did, try pairing it with something really contrasting, like distressed denim and mm -hmm. a pair of pumps and like a graphic tee for like okay. a little date night outfit. So okay. try to try to contrast it with something a little bit cooler, a little bit more casual okay. to give it new life. Okay. So yep. and now mine is the skirt, but I want you to go to the shirt really okay. quickly. Okay, we can go <laughs> to this. I found this years ago. Got I you. really liked it. I and love you know what I've seen. The tag is still tag on is it. Still, which happens? Mm -hmm. but it happens. Here's the problem. It's very sheer. sheer. So it has stayed in my closet for probably he five is. years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just and and I should probably toss it at this point, but then I'm okay. like, well, maybe I'll find the maybe. right top I can put under sure, it, or sure. maybe. So a couple things here. I find that people get real a huge guilt factor when this is still hanging on there. But here's what I want to tell you: this is not saving you any money by hanging in your closet, taking up space. Mm. If anything, it's creating more clutter, and that's when impulse purchases happen. Um, so if it's really something that you just don't pull for, you've tried to make it work. Work. I don't want you to feel like you have to buy a jacket just to make this top work. <laughs> yes. like I want it to be a bit more versatile yes. than that. Yeah. And too, if you're telling me it's kind of sheer, I kind of don't feel super comfortable in it, then that right there means it can toss. top the door. Okay, yeah, toss it. okay we're tossing. Toss it. Okay, we've got one more item. We've got about a minute left. Okay, who Next, wants to go? Go to your sweater. I think we should go to this dress on the end. Oh, you might okay, yes. recognize it from the <laughs> open of our show. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so this is a recently worn. I, so it, mm, I, I, I wore it back in the day oh, when we shot our day. open for yeah. the show. Yes. But I feel like, hey, it's in every single open. I'm sure you're kind of sick of it. Yeah. Well, two things there. One, if it's kind of just attached to this memory and you really don't think, no matter if I pair it with the most a style in the most awesome way with most awesome shoes, you're never gonna like be able to let go of that, then that's just like an honesty moment and you can mm -hmm. get rid. I will say, this is such a striking color on mm -hmm. like your skin tone. If I wanted to give this another whirl, I would probably pair this with like another primary color, like mm -hmm. a, like do some color blocking okay. in an unexpected way. Like how fun would this yellow color be with like a royal blue shoe or something? Oh, I, I know, that's that. what my mind okay. goes. I like that. We will be wearing that soon. Yes. Thank you, Carson. Of course, thank oh, y'all yeah. so thank much. Thank you so much, this is really fun. We've thank you for bringing this. Yes. Yes. Make sure to follow Carson on her Instagram. You can find some great style articles, follow along with her adorable foster pets oh, yes. at Carson M. Love. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about cleaning your pantry in mm -hmm. another segment. So I just wanted to throw that in there too. Yes. We are on a cleaning Cleansing streak this week. Yes. Yes. Let yes. it go. Let it go. Absolutely. Thank you. We love Thank you, you. so much for having me. Thank